Alright guys, the day has finally come to take the wrap off the FRS. Um, when I got the car, it had already been, my guess was probably two years on here. The previous owner did it and I've owned the car now for three years and it has definitely seen better days. Um, I loved it, I love the color everything, but I'm excited to see what's underneath. So let's get started. So this is not an expert tutorial video at all. Um, I have never removed a vinyl wrap and I actually haven't laid it down either. So um, I'm really excited to do this for the first time and hopefully learn some new skills. I have no idea how this is going to go. I've seen um, sometimes it's better to remove it when it's colder and sometimes remove it when it's hotter. Um, I'm going to go with the hotter method, I guess. Um, right now it's about almost 100 degrees outside and it's supposed to be about 110 and it didn't get down lower than 85 last night out here in Phoenix so it's still pretty warm from yesterday even so I'm just gonna start with a corner try and get this edge up and try and work my way that way with it and try and keep it in as many pieces as possible or as few pieces as possible so we'll see how it goes maybe we'll learn some new things and we'll see what she looks like in the end just have a Harbor, cheap Harbor Freight uh, heat gun, and this should uh, work for the most part. It's got two two settings, um, but I kind of already started working on this corner. Like I said, this wrap's probably like five years old, so well, it may uh, may come up pretty easy. It may not. Probably won't, that's my luck, but let me uh, apply some heat to it and we'll start working. Alright, it doesn't seem to, I got this side up now, and it doesn't really seem to take too much heat, especially right now. So um, my goal is, I'm gonna, I got this, all this. Um, lifted from the edges so I'm gonna try and take this up in like one piece at least as much as I can so I'm just gonna start right here and try and pull it up so like I said I've never done this before so if you guys have any comments please leave them any tips to help me do this better the next time because definitely plan on putting a new wrap on it and I'm sure I'll take, remove that one at some point. I know it can be like three, four hundred dollars to pay someone to remove it because it takes a lot of time. And of course, I'm not going to show you every minute of me doing this because that'd be boring as fuck. But I'm definitely not paying three hundred dollars or whatever it costs when I can just do this myself. But I will say that this is not. Going as easy as I was hoping. Let's try working with a smaller area. I haven't been able to figure out which brand this is, so haven't been able. You know, I'm kind of going in blind. I know some wraps are easier to remove than others, and some wraps have different techniques when it comes to the removal. Take up all your clothes. Future's looking bright now. I'm finally in the zone. Three years of my life, I committed to the growth. Soldier boy, tell him number one ringtone. I'm the reason people texting. Okay. Well, that kind of sucked. Because, <laughs> well, I finished the hood and it only took like two hours. <laughs> so, there it is. It's all done. It's still got some residue from the adhesive. But we can take care of that later. Um, yeah, it took a long time. It was way harder than I thought, but I learned a few things. I learned a few things. So one thing I would say is I needed a lot more heat when I was trying to pull it pull it back. And also, I should um, you should put heat on 
whatever you're holding on to too because that will get real brittle also um, and just uh, just it doesn't take much just a little bit of heat to keep it kind of flexible um, but yeah definitely the parts that were way more damaged they were way more ba baked on and I couldn't help but have those come off in pieces but everyone has told me that the hood is the worst part because it's um, the biggest section and it also has like the heat from the engine um, so it gets a lot of heat cycling going through it. Um, I'm probably going to try and do something a little bit smaller next see how it goes. Uh, probably these uh, side mirrors. Now I'm going to try and do this without taking off the, the caps. Looks like they didn't actually tuck it in behind it so I'm, let's see how it goes. Something finally turning, something called a profit If I hear you talking shit, don't get caught in it I'll be popping off and hit your ass, dropping all your shit Yeah, I promise this, I got promises You ain't stopping this, cross my shit You'll be knocked unconscious, bitch That's the consequence, I got this I will not quit, man, I'm on it, honest I'm gonna launch quick, then I'm gone It's just a matter of time Before I'm over the line And moving on to my prime Just quit my nine to five I'm rocking, and they watching Cause it's shocking, dropping All these top ten songs so stopping, it's time to live my life, it's time to live my die. Wish I could slow down time and just enjoy the climb. Alright. I'm gonna try and take this off. I've never taken this off before, but I don't think it's gonna be too hard. It's just every time you take something off like this, there's a chance of damaging the clips and stuff. So Using body panel. There we go. So work the way around it. You can kind of see the clips back there. There's one here and here. Yeah, I think we got one on the bottom there that popped. There we go. Should be another one right about here. Stayed in place. Uh, I think it. Okay, I think we're still good. All right, that's how it's done. You can see where all the clips were. You do this on your own or whatever. You can. It's easier just to get in beside it, or maybe even right over it if you can. Um, I don't know if that's back or not. Probably not. But it may not have been just holding up there, right? But yeah, they definitely take the whole thing. Grade me, all this social media has got me going crazy lately. Everything's inflated, mainly. Everyone's invaded. Privacy is naked. Alright, guys, it is now the next day, and I had to call it quits yesterday because I decided to pick the hottest day of the year so far. It hit 114 degrees here in Phoenix. And that was, got to be a little too much, so it's now the next day. Um, I decided to get a little bit earlier start today because if you want to get anything done here, you got to do it in the morning or at night because that's what happens. It gets to be 114, 15, even 120 or so sometimes. So anyways, um, here's where we're at. I got most of the roof done. Um, got the hood you saw yesterday. Got most of the fender. Same over here. The mirrors, the mirrors are super easy. Yep. Saving the bumper. I think that's gonna take a little bit too. But what I want, what I wanted to do was show you the roof rails and how they come off. Um, they tucked them pretty far under, so the I have to take them off. But they're super easy. So here, here's how it goes. Try and do this with one hand, it shouldn't be too hard. Just take that the, the tool, and there's a clip here and a clip in the back.
And all you gotta do is come in right about here and just pull up, work your way. There we go, that's it. And there's another one. Right there. And they go in, and they go in just as easy. So we're, real quick, one thing I learned from yesterday was I was not getting the film nowhere near hot enough. Um, with, the, with the parts that were real damaged, it really didn't matter how much heat you got into it. It, would, it was just too brittle and it would just come off in little pieces. But that's why a lot of the roof and the hood took so long. But definitely a lot more heat helps like so much where it's almost... It like hurts your fingers to handle it. Um, but those other sections that come off where it's not damaged come off super easy and don't need nearly as much heat. Let's go. Yeah, I'm the one to get it, bro. I swear to God, I'll get it, bro. Oh, one tool I found that was pretty handy was a pick tool like this one. Um, it's really good for just lifting a corner. I mean, obviously be a little bit careful with it so you don't scratch anything, but it definitely helps. Like in something like this where it's a little bit hard to get a corner and get your finger or something down in there. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna finish up this part and then I'll catch up with you guys. Um, I'm not gonna show the the antenna. Um, it's kind of a little bit involved. It's not hard, it's just takes a little bit of time. You gotta get up underneath and un undo the headliner a little bit and um, unbolt it a little bit and it'll pop out at least enough to get up under it. Um, I'll show you guys that when I do the actual wrap or just wrap the roof or whatever. But really the this is gonna be the this is taking the longest and I'm guessing that's gonna this is gonna come off in pieces too because this is pretty badly damaged. But all this should come off fairly simple because this looks pretty clean still. But we'll see. Yeah, it's our time to shine. Show that's the kind of state of mind you gotta combine with hard work and time. You gotta climb to the top. Don't let yourself drop till your heart stops. Let this beat rock. Got a new clock and a new stock for this new rock. Just let your mind loose from the new stock. Drunk off the goose. Yeah. Thinking that I'm too pop. Yeah. Getting caught with a few thoughts. Cause I'm, I'm too to lost. Off. Speakers can't even handle me. Yeah. Give it what I got. Nobody All right, time for a status update. Okay, it's not going too bad. It's kicking my ass, but. We're getting there. Um, let me step back. Got the majority of the car done. Still got the ass to do. The trunk. I just started on the front bumper. Um, this isn't going too well. I'll show you why in a sec. This side looks like the other one. Got most of it done. Doors weren't too bad. Um, just dealing with, they tucked everything way more than they should have. Um, they tucked it way up underneath. All this has to come off, which is fine. This is this comes off real easy. The mirrors, um, you just... Uh, there's a little spot where you can get like a screwdriver or something in here, and this pops off, and there's one, two, and three screws. Then, then the whole thing comes off, which is pretty easy. Um, door handles, um, they wrapped around them, I don't, I think they took them off, honestly, but I got most of it off, the other one came off a lot cleaner, this cap right here doesn't want to come off, so I gotta pick at this a little more, um, yep, we got about the same distance over here, 
The roof has a ton of residue on it, like you can see right there. This isn't dirt, this is like glue. That's stuck on. This is like the same thing as the hood. Where this is really damaged and discolored, it's just, no matter how much heat you apply to it, it just comes off in little chips. Um, they tucked it way more than they should have. Like, it went way up under here and then it gets all stuck in here in these holes. It makes it more of a pain. Just more time consuming. I'm gonna try and rip off the whole thing with the badge because I'm not gonna be running these chrome ones again. Okay, I'll keep uh, working at it and catch up with you in a little bit. All right, so it's, would figure that we're at the ass end of the car at the ass end of uh, day two. So we're getting there, I'm exhausted. Um, everything forward is pretty much done. Uh, I'm gonna do the, the the spoiler now. I think it's like a Sabon rep. I think it was on the car when I got it. I I, I really like it though. Um, it's not screwed down. It's just, I'm pretty sure it's just uh, double sided tape. So I'm just gonna try and work on one end and try and get it up. finally finished it it's a couple days later and I got pretty much all the wrap off there's still a few little spots I gotta uh, work on but it's all done so now we can move on to the next part let me show you a little bit there's still a little bit uh, stuck in here I gotta probably remove at least some of the bumper and possibly the headlight and we had a casualty Lost the cover on here. I'm probably gonna get new ones. And the clips are busted behind there anyway. And there's more over here and I'll probably have to remove the headlight for this. But overall, it doesn't look too bad. Rocking it without the spoiler for now. Not sure if I'm gonna what I'm gonna do with that, throw it, throw it back on, whatever, there's some around this bumper too. But overall it looks pretty good. There is still a lot of adhesive left. Um, I've tried going over it with a couple different things. The Goo Gone doesn't do shit for it. Um, I've left it, you know, 20 minutes, an hour, and then gone over it and it barely touches it. So I might try to keep a few different things and I'll probably update you guys, see what actually worked the best. But as far as this adhesive goes, it, it doesn't work too well. But it's all what I just washed it now and it looks pretty good. So let's, uh, oh, I still gotta get the, I gotta get the windshield replaced cause this big crack. And it goes like all the way across now. Gets worse every day. But thank you for watching, guys. Stay tuned. Uh, please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. So, catch you next time. Later.